golden yamaha symbol ah that is nice it's like a ducati swing arm like come on on a 150 cc motorcycle the way that it lights up is superb Hi guys, Big Bang Biker here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Look at this, the India's sweetheart, the R15, uh, and I'm driving the M edition from Twist Throttle. So there are a lot more bikes in the garage. I will take each and every one of them, and I'll be making videos. After the last time of riding the Z1000 and the Speed 400, it's time for this. Man, I have been dying to get my hands on this. and look at that r155 dash in this video i will show you how this beauty of a motorcycle which is really famous in india works the R15 MV4 look at this swing arm man it's like a ducati swing arm like come on on a 150 cc motorcycle seriously we can talk about for hours of rest of the things because the upside down forks now is common everywhere <laughs> but who is giving this i don't think so anyone and in this particular segment 6 feet tall as i said in many videos 100 kg and look at the way it is light This is just one body two kgs. I am hundred. Forty two kgs is the difference. Look at the road presence of this motorcycle, dude. The the golden forks. Yeah, we think KTM is the one which introduced all the coloured wheels, the coloured alloys. But no, I guess it was the R15. Despite being only one fifty five cc. Ah, look at that. Oh ho 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 ho! But it gives you a feel as if you are riding an R1. with its committed riding position definitely i can call this india sweetheart everyone loves it motorcycle so look at the way this bike feels man it it looks like a massive motorcycle well this is 155 cc 18.4 bhp and 14.2 newton meters of torque The V3 itself was a massive hit. I have ridden that motorcycle too, like four, five years ago. I don't remember, and I know the fan following that that motorcycle had. Like I uploaded the video, and I guess in uh, a week it had got 700k views at that time. Anyway, at that time I was at the peak of my YouTube channel. I am so happy in driving this. It's not just about super bikes. It's not just about the 400 cc, 500 cc motorcycles. For me, it's about these beauties as well, which taught you how to ride. Uh, this has track mode and street mode, and it has uh, quick shifter as well, but only in the upward direction, not in both direction. I'll do an acceleration test from right here. Someone has skidded into the side lane really aggressively. You do have a committed riding position for sure, and finding neutral is very easy. I'm just making sure that there is no traffic behind me. and there is no traffic in front of me as well so many of the 600 cc don't get a quick shifter nowadays still this 155 cc gets it so that's what is the dedication that yamaha has shown at least with this motorcycle in india the r3 i don't know man the updated r3 i have been waiting for ages this ageless beauty is the only one which has made it to india golden yamaha symbol ah that is nice 60 60th anniversary gp edition look at the quick shifter dude oh that the way that it lights up is superb ah uh, the way it lights up is so nice gear shifts are amazing so smooth look at this boys it is so easy to drive so easy amazing wow upshift yes 
I'm shift yes beauty and the brakes too as you see here I just tap and it slows down so nicely I'll go to the left lane here oh one is the RPM meter look at the way it drives oh that R15 rev is another level man no matter how many motorcycles you ride when you ride a R15 you know you have fallen in love with the motorcycle and trust me another feature on this motorcycle is the horn it is like a lorry horn man on a 150 cc when they can give such good horns i guess it's dual horn otherwise it wouldn't be that loud at all that is fun and i'll show you how it feels oh you can just put your knee down oh nice there is no one behind me and i'll break only front brakes look at the weight brakes man wow there is absolutely no hesitation no panic absolutely nothing i guess this is the reason yamaha does not even want to release the r3 in india look at this i'll break again okay there is no one behind me i'll show you this look at the control i have here look at that look at that man wow i am here at a nice road to pick up my friend uh, kiran to go make some videos but we saw this there is a bus depot or something which has caught fire well anyways getting back to the review and this is what i was telling in the video as well look at the way i'm easily able to sculpt here the leg sits here aram se it does not get over this bump here rather you are holding on to it easily and that's how you can comfortably ride when you want to go fast tuck down easily when you don't want to press and drive with a easy stance wow man and this windshield as well the way it is bubbled is very 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 nice on a stock motorcycle to get all these things value for money is what this creams now despite uh, me and a pillion uh, sitting on the motorcycle i'll show you how it goes over the humps yes so nice the suspension on this motorcycle is very very nice dude you have to slow down considering it's a fair motorcycle not an adventure so you can just throw it around come to second gear or first gear whatever you want and it's easy to navigate i don't think so will ever touch the underside of this motorcycle at all see like i said i am 100 kg and uh, kiran might be just 65 70 kg and this motorcycle is only 142 so even with the weight more than 100% of the motorcycle it's performing very very nicely even now it did not touch the underside at all look at the way it accelerates even with the pillion wow and i'll use quick shifter now you will not even feel it man you will not even feel it okay let me take a quick verdict directly from kiran macha 100 ala martinnala ning vibration feel aitha sölpa feel aitha put back 100 mele 100 mele feel aitha adikina munche illa illa ala shocking anta anselva ninge smooth ala si even he was actually shocked very we were uh, riding also and uh, when we are doing slower speeds the quick shifter working gotagutte speed al hogtir bekara matra gotte agala ala extremely smooth motorcycle man higher rpm really smooth and we were in street mode also so that's another difference look at the way they played around with the colors the white and red is i mean classic yamaha but them adding this yellow tinge here the golden forks the golden forks are something that are really catching my eye and it does not look like a jatra motorcycle no gold edition, gold edition exactly uh, the v2 i guess the rear seat was much higher i'll see if i can get you a comparison of this motorcycle versus the v2 but uh, i cannot say wow enough and this is a 150 cc when you have a 1000 cc motorcycle the feeling is different you will say wow literally for everything but how can a 150 cc make you feel this way yeah, so i watched uh, kiran to ride the motorcycle he is a uh, 510 <laughs> 65 70 kg guy for him the bike is absolutely perfect look at this look at this man for him it's absolutely beautiful i am too much for the motorcycle 
and look at him he is literally like a small college kid only and for a college kid this is absolutely perfect his for his stance hold madu hand over hold madu look at him he perfectly goes with the motorcycle so every college guy will really really love it that's the point of this video anyone can buy it for sure but the college guys go do enjoy with your girlfriends when they're hugging you from behind the uh, yamaha people have made it a little uh, you know <laughs> flat in the back unlike in the past where the girlfriends had to fall on you but this time it's different i hope you like this review so right when i was about to conclude the video i found another r15m here look at this beauty man this is the one which is uh, the highest selling guru one nimsha nim gaadi bage video helboda helboda so see the thing is this one is uh, black and uh, red and white and this is not that common but that is the one which is the most famous version of uh, r15 look at the blue alloys the silver tank that is a true motorcycle dude from far away it was actually looking like r6 that's why people make fun about it sagada ida guru ni gari eshtu top speed madirida 148 ah see that's what eshtu nim weight 56 56 ah see that's that guy is 56 that's why he was able to reach 150 or 140 i am 100 kg that's why i could go 130 maximum nice also I mean that the cow looks even better Well with that I would conclude the vlog and uh, thanks to that guy as well for being part of this have a great day bye bye